Hello my beauties! Uh, today we are doing my monthly ins and outs. So the things that came in, the things I bought that probably shouldn't have, and the things that went out, the things I used up, my empties. So let's start with the empties because there aren't a whole lot. Uh, honestly, I haven't been panning for very long and I haven't, I haven't been keeping track of things I use up until just recently. Um, so there aren't a whole lot of things in here, but that's okay. There will be more things in the future because I plan on using the things I have. So, and I'm going to try and stop buying new things, but I'm realizing I don't have a whole lot. So forgive me. I'm going to buy a whole bunch of stuff. Not a whole bunch, but a little bit. So let's start off with this month's empties and it's small. So first off, just finished off my deodorant. This is from Hey Humans. It is a vanilla lavender deodorant and it was a shock because I am doing this for a project pan uh, for 30 shade, 50 shades of purple and I went to put this on yesterday and that's it. That little disc, I'm going to continue using it, but it, it popped off. Oh, it, it secured itself back on, but it popped off. Um, so yeah, I had made a mark. I was here trying to measure it from the inside, but didn't realize that there's this huge, huge bottom here. So a lot less product than I thought there was. So that teeny little bit is going to be gone in a day or two. And, um, that's an empty and I've already bought a replacement. I'm going to put that back in there so it doesn't pop off, but it's a wonderful deodorant, all natural cardboard packaging. So that one is done. Next up is a declutter because not, I can't use it. Um, it is this teeny tiny little travel size advanced techniques, um, color reviving conditioner. So I dug this out of a box of Avon stuff. I found this is from Avon and I, it, the box was at least eight years old. And I dug this out and I put it in my travel bag to go pet sitting and use. And I opened it and it was like half water and half goop. And I was like, why? What's wrong with... And then I realized it was the Avon and I went, oh, the conditioner went bad. It separated. Um, I've tried shaking it up. It, it, it doesn't really shake up. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, there's a goop in there and then there's watery stuff. So... This is being decluttered. This is being thrown away. Um, I might, no, I was going to say I might try and save the bottle for other travels, but I have other travel size bottles. So yeah, that was kind of disappointing, um, but not surprising. It's over eight years old. So yeah, that's a declutter. Um, next up, we have a sheet mask. One sheet mask. Um, I've been trying to do sheet masks at least once a month um, and the only reason I do it so infrequently is because once I do the sheet mask I save the packet and I use all the serum that's left in there and I finally finished up the serum actually not quite there is this teensy little bit in the bottom of here probably one or two uses left maybe one um, but I rotate serums now because suddenly I have a bunch of serums um, where I didn't have any before. So I finished this one. This is um, from Juice It Up Lab For You Juice It Up Tomato Mask. I think I got this from Ipsy Bag last year. So it was pretty good. It was nice. It was, you know, nothing special. Um, let's see what else. Speaking of Ipsy, I got this sample of the Pore Professional. Where we go? There we go. Oh, they're lighting. Okay. Uh, the Pore Professional Hydrate Primer. I've been working on um, getting rid of this since I started work wearing makeup about two months ago. And um, yeah, it's finally empty. I got it in Ipsy last year. Um, and I, I just, yeah. I finally used it up. Yay! I have one more sample of... Uh, Primer, 
pore filling primer um, and then I have a big elf putty that I bought myself which I'm not using because I'm using up all the samples we'll see um, one thing that's not a surprise is uh, lip balm this is Burt's Bees hemp lip balm um, I could probably get in there and dig out what's left but otherwise it is it is done it is kaput I have purchased more lip balms already so I don't know if I'll need to dig that out, but we'll see. Um, one thing I am sad to see go is this face serum. Um, this is from Winky Lux, and it is their, I can barely read it, Orchid Petal Gelee um, Balancing and Hydrating Serum. And I'm going to keep this package because it is a nice airless pump, and I think I'm going to put my found liquid foundation in here because it doesn't have a pump it's just in a bottle and so I think I will reuse this for that but I really like this it has hyaluronic acid and um, this is actually the first serum I ever had and I really enjoyed it it made a nice compliment to the other things in my um, routine which was a rose water face mist and this and then I have um, something for Pacifica uh, day and night moisturizer that I'm using um, but I really like this I'm sad it's gone but I enjoyed it while I had it I'm trying some new things and I'm definitely gonna think about repurchasing this in the future unless I find something else I like a whole lot better and then this is actually in the wrong basket <laughs> like wait that doesn't that wasn't an empty that was in the wrong basket. And that's it. That's all my empties. Oh, wait. No, there's one more. This candle. Um, it, it's seen better days. It got a little black because I don't have a long enough candle lighter to get in there. Um, but it is. Um, it might be able to burn it one more time, but it's pretty much done. This is Tuscan Candle Farmhouse Collection Comforts of Home. Uh, soy with... Um, yeah, essential oils. It has a cinnamony smell, which is not, well, it's just okay. I was trying to avoid pumpkin. Um, I was also trying to avoid cinnamon, and I was trying to get something sort of a woodsy smell for the fall. Um, but this was really nice. It The scent traveled quite well. Um, I think I will definitely get more from this brand in the future. It, it, I got it at Kroger. So it was like $5.99. So for a single wick candle, it's not bad. Um, it took me all of this month and probably half of last month. I don't remember when I started burning it. But yeah, I enjoyed that. It still smells delicious. So yeah, the only reason it looks so bad, like I said, is because I had to train. I have a little short candle lighter but it's not long enough to get to the very bottom so I had to stick my hand in there and it just blackened things a little bit and trimming the wick got to be a pain in the butt too um, but yeah that's that okay so let me get these out of the way and then we'll get into the things I bought because like I said I went a little by crazy not not crazy crazy buying things but I bought some things um several online purchases all of which have come in um I have one more thing from last month coming in but it, it's a it's a PR item and I don't know when it's coming because they never gave me any tracking they just said it's on its way um so where's my okay I'm like my hair is doing things okay so first of all things I picked up at the store alright um, things I picked up at the store uh, this oh if we can see it I don't even know how to say Bakuchoil Bakuchoil booster um, it is a plant based retinol and olive squally serum oil base oil I guess um, this is one of my serums that I am rotating in my um, collection right now this is very nice um, this is actually in my 50 shades of purple um, this is just the box to remind me that I have it um, 
but yeah this is my 50 shades of purple project and um that's really nice i really enjoy it um it's a nice um facial serum like i said i got a few now um and then next we have another empty um or an, another empty box not an empty product although i do have an empty um i just can't get to it it fell in a place i can't reach but can we there we go hey humans toothpaste um i have their deodorant now i i saw well i'm like i'll give their toothpaste a try and this is with fluoride a clean mint rush and i am enjoying it so far it's a clear gel toothpaste in uh one of those aluminum tubes so that's really nice one thing i regret buying because well sort of regret half regret buying um yeah let me just pop this in and so you can get the whole thing you can't okay that's fine is um i was at my drugstore and i saw this spa scriptions pack holiday pack of wishes and kisses lip kit is a four piece lip therapy set that has two lip masks and two lip scrubs it was 4.99 because i had been wanting to pick pick up some lip scrubs but they're all like five dollars i'm cheap um five dollars or more um but this one came with two lip scrubs and so far the lip scrub is really nice um i've only tried this one this is in uh honey and nectarine and then it has this red one which is grapefruit and sugar and then it comes with two lip masks <laughs> i don't know what to do with the lip masks i tried them it was like putting water on my lips um yeah i have a burt's bees lip oil that i've been using at night and i really enjoy that i thought oh i'll try this this is like putting water on your lips it's very lightweight gel and it evaporates within a minute leaving my lips feeling drier than they were before so basically yeah if you can imagine like you know after sun aloe gel how it like goes on and feels really hydrating and then evaporates to nothing that's what these are so i don't recommend these at all um I don't know what I'm gonna do with them I may donate them to my local charity I may just toss them if you guys have suggestions what I should do with these or maybe some other way I can use them please let me know down in the comments section because I am totally disappointed and don't know what to do with them I can't use them as a lip mask because they're not they last less than five minutes less than two minutes like I put them on and they're gone I need something that's like gonna cover and coat my lips all night long to leave, leave them as a lip mask so and yeah this is a moisturizing lip mask and this is called a repairing overnight lip mask i use them both they're both about the same um yeah if you have any suggestions on other ways i can use these or what i can do with them please please let me know in the description or in the comments below because i'm at a loss i mean 4.99 for two lip scrubs that's a good deal um, I like the lip scrubs. I enjoy them very much, but the lip masks are just a waste, a waste of space and time and money. Do not recommend. Do not recommend. I mean, unless there's somebody out there who really wants that kind of thing and then, Hey, go for it. It's all yours. Okay. Next up, I ordered from Pacifica. Um, I currently have been working on my favorite um, day and night moisturizer is from Pacifica and I went to their website and I was like oh, I'm gonna see what they have and they have like a last clan last chance sale and discounts and pre Black Friday sales and everything I couldn't help myself and I bought some stuff so <laughs> not a whole lot not a whole lot but it's Pacifica so it, you know but I got the first of all I got a lip balm the Bally Coconut Lip Balm, and this is actually one I'm currently working on right now. It had started as a little bump above there, and now it, it's just down below. Um, but this is a nice, hydrating lip balm. 
Um, and I got it on the last call for like $1.50, $2.50, something like that. Like I said, I'm cheap. Um, next up is a, a travel size of the moisturizer I've been using is the Dream, Dreamy Youth Day and Night Face Cream. Uh, I really like it. Um, and it says it's good for all skin types. It has um, Refuse to Obey Time. I love that because I don't want to get older. I don't want to look older than I am. I mean, I don't feel I look my age, but I don't want to look older. I want to look younger. Um, it has a fluorocell complex with concentrated floral stem cells and powerhouse antioxidants. Um, this actually tells me more than the one I have. The one I have is a, a tall airless pump. Um, but yeah, it helps minimize the appearance of fine lines, deeply moisturizes, promotes a lifting effect, and improves radiance. So this can be used day and night and let me see if I can get it to the lights too bright. Okay. Well, take my word for it. That's what it is. I don't know how to, I like the light on my face, but on the products, it looks crap. Okay. And then oh, two more things from Pacifica. I figured since it was a clearance in a last chance sale, last call sale, um, I figured I'd go ahead and try something else. Um, I'm trying to work on some hair stuff. So this is Coco Bliss, Coco Gloss Shine Serum. It is an anti-frizz and big shine with coconut and hemp. It's silicone free. And it looks like it's a nice milky um, kind of hair oil. So I figured I would give that a try. And coconut. It smells good. It smells like coconut. I haven't actually used it yet. I'm using some other products first. But yeah, that was on last. And then um, the thing I really, really enjoyed and really wanted, and, and I'm glad I got, perfume. I actually didn't own any perfume. Um, all I had was a body spray from uh, Zum, which you probably saw in my last empties. Um, that body spray, the frankincense and myrrh, so I figured I'd dive into um, perfume. So I got the Pacifica Enchanted Woods, and it, I think it smells like heaven. It's uh, the the package is beautiful as well. I can't tell you the notes. I'm not good with that. I think honestly, to me, most perfumes all smell like powder in the end. So. Um, but I like some more than others. Um, this is very smoky, like incense s smelling. I like a perfume that smells like incense because I like to smell like incense. Um, I would sm pray, spray some on right now, but I have some other things to show you and there's more perfume in there. So I got those thing four things from Pacifica. Um, also, um, I also got a Ipsy bag, which had items in it, including a perfume. Um, I will leave a card up there um, for you to look at that video. And then I also got a makeup bag from Medusa's Makeup, which I will also leave up there. And I will try and leave links for them down in the description below. But please check those out if you want to see the products I got from there. Um, also, I got some stuff from... My refreshments, which is also from Ipsy, so yeah. Um, and then we'll hold off on that for a minute. Well, no, we'll go ahead and talk about this. So today, today, I just got my first online order from Ulta, and I am never, ever buying online from them again. Um, so I ordered four items, and two of them are broken. So I'm gonna take them to store. Probably gonna try and swing over this weekend. Um, to my local store and return them or exchange them. Hopefully exchange them for the same products if I can. If not, I'll get something else. Because I'll get to the two broken items or damaged items. But the two that are in good shape that I'm keeping are another um, product from a Cure. So I'm currently working on a, my 50 Shades of Purple and a Cure face wash in their um, Radically Rejuvenating Face Wash. And this is their Radically Rejuvenating Overnight Back, <laughs> it's that same stuff again. Bakatoy, if you guys know how to say that, please leave it phonetically down below for me because I don't know. 
Um, but plant-based retinol um, face, uh, night cream. So this is an overnight night cream. So now I won't have to use my day and night cream. I can use this. I will have to see how my skin reacts. I don't know. I've never used anything like retinoid, um, even though this is plant-based and it says you can use it every day. I also have the serum, so I don't know if I can do both, but we'll see. I mean, my skin's pretty hardy. But yeah, this is the same um, Bakuchowol and Plant Squalene. I'm, I'm willing to give this a try. This will be coming up sometime in the future in added to my 50 shades of purple as well as this product because I went looking and I didn't have a lot of purple products so I have to buy some oh no an excuse to buy makeup um this is from LA Colors this is our shockwave metallic eyeliner in um, the shade sequins and it is a beautiful deep purple you can see it there I haven't opened the package yet but that's the color and that's gorgeous now nice things are falling um the things that I got okay I, can, I put them in the bag because I'm gonna take the whole bag with me but basically one big thing is I got this hair oil um which is only half and half full now um and it's partly possibly a manufacturer's problem but there is a I don't know if you can see there is a dent on the ridge right there um, and there's no plastic on this and they just threw it in a bubble mailer um, and it's still got oil on it. it leaked everywhere so there's only probably this much product left in the actual bottle um, which I also purchased for 50 shades of purple as you could probably guess um, I'm quite disappointed. I paid for a full size product. I mean a full product. I'm not gonna accept this half full bottle. And then and then I have my invoice which is also covered in oil. I posted pictures on my Instagram of all these things because I was that upset. And then I got my very first ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is my first ColourPop ever. My first Super Shock Shadow. Um, and it is busted, which I, you know, I can understand. I'm sure color, I'm sure these Super Shock shadows get busted all the time. It's also covered in oil because there's oil all over inside the bag. That's why I'm taking it in the bag with the invoice that is also just soaked in oil. Um, I, uh, from what I've heard, these Super Shock shadows are fragile. And can break quite easily. There's so much oil. Um, but yeah, I'm a little disappointed because they just threw everything. Don't e didn't even individually wrap anything. They were all just thrown in this bubble mailer. And I left them a survey and told them you do not put cosmetics and beauty and makeup products in bubble mailers for mailing. Just don't. I've worked in shipping and mailing rooms. And then package handling. This is not acceptable. This is not what you do with, with makeup and beauty products. You do not put them in bubble mailers. Without at least wrapping them in their own individual bubble wrap inside the bubble mailer. Um, so yeah, if I can't get a replacement for the Super Shock, that's fine. I can probably repress it without problem. But the hair oil, I'm really pissed about. So, um, yeah, that's, that's my little Ulta story. We'll move on. Um, so we did Pacifica, we did Ulta. Next I have, I don't know how to pronounce this brand. Um, I will leave it in the, dis oh, this one isn't even it. Okay, this one I can pronounce. Um, this is from Espionage Cosmetics, which you may or may not have heard of. They are a small indie brand. They do cosmetics and um, manicures. And I ordered a set of nail wraps in purple glitter and they are called da, 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 da. I forget where it's listed oh my god what are they called in case you want some too it doesn't tell me uh, it 
should say on here somewhere. Nope. Okay. Well, they're purple glitter unicorn. It might say on my invoice. Did I say my? I did. Haha. -ha. Invoice says Vladimir's unicorns glitter Jedi approved. So it's Vladimir's unicorns and air purple glitter nail wraps. So that was really fun. And then even funner is for the gaming nerd. I got this little guy. It it looks like it looks like a gaming cartridge, right? 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 Yeah, it does. But you open it up. This is hard for me to open though. Um, the only reason I closed it back up is because it, okay. So, you have the case, kind of like a little Nintendo thing, and then inside you have the game cartridge, right? not a game cartridge it's a makeup compact and the reason I put it in the thing is because I have trouble closing it because it came with two single shadows and those shadows are right here so let me see if I can swatch these for you um, so the dark one is a beautiful dual chrome called dungeon crawl and the second one is a, a green, and I can't remember what it's called. Um, those are just super shiny, super metallic. I can't get the right angle. There, I think I got it. Um, but yeah, that, that, it's got like brown, copper, blue, just, ugh, sorry I'm blinding you. Um, but yeah, that's really cute. Um, I put it back in the thing because I like just this part, but it looks like it's doing okay now. When it first put it in, the green shadow wasn't going in all the way, so this wasn't closing completely. But yeah, and comes with this cute little compact, and I thought that was super cute, and I can't wait to try out this um, dungeon crawl because that is such a, this will be my first duochrome or multi-chrome, I'm not sure how many colors are, um, shadow, and, and when I saw it in the pack, on the picture, I was like, okay, it's like, you know, it's brown, but then I got it, and I'm like, no, it's like brown and blue and kind of pinky, it's, it's, I think it's gorgeous, um, let me see if you can see it on my finger better, so it is just, mm, I'm in love, I'm in love, and I didn't grab any makeup wipes, so, okay um but yeah so it comes with a little case if you want it slips right in there and you can use it for, probably use it if I take it traveling um to help keep it from popping open in my bag but yeah so I got that and then last right yes oh Ew. I see Okay, my bubble mailer is leaking oil. Yeah, my bubble mailer. Great, yeah, it's all the oils right down in this corner. Okay, good thing I put it in the bag, um, or in the box. Um, wait, 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 okay. Anyway, um, yeah, other people whose packages came were um, along with that might not be happy. Um, they probably have oily packages, and they don't know where the oil came from. Okay, the last thing I got is from Sucre, Sucre Bale, Bale, I don't know how to say it. I will put it in the description below, but they are a small, independent perfumery. They also do... I believe they have bath and, um, they, they, bleh, words, they partner with other small beauty companies and put together bundles, I believe, I'd have to look at their website. I will leave a link to their website down below, um, but their motto is welcome to the dark side. We smell awesome. Um, and that's what it says inside the box. It is gorgeous and kind of what attracted me to it. 
I'm a little bit on the dark side. Um, and they had an awesome deal. So for signing up on their on their website, I got a, a code for a free dram of a scent, and um, then when I ordered, I also got a free rollerball. So I was like, "What?" I didn't know how big her dram was, but they included a lovely thank you card, which uh, excuse me on the back says that they couldn't do a handwritten note, but here they were thinking of you. And they also included this lovely sticker, and that is the name of the company right there, um, Sucre Bleu, Sucre Belle, Sucre Belle, I don't know how to say it. Sorry, I'm going to butcher it a million times, so I'm just not going to. But inside, they have this, inside this box, see, they know how to do things. In this well-packaged bubble envelope. I have three lovely scents and they are unique and gorgeous and now I know how big a dram is and I know in the future I will get something bigger but it's a nice way to try something so I ordered the dram for seven dollars called goth as fuck or you know goth as f b um if you don't want swearing I'm sorry I swear okay but this is goth as f goth af and i think the description said it is like incense just something about like cathedral incense or something i don't know it is it it's ugh. and then the free one i got is called heck puppy and it's yeah heck puppy um and it is also like patchouli, sandalwood, amber, something smoky, incensey, and those two little guys came in this cute bag. And then I get a free bonus of a roll-on called Black Honey. And I think I was looking at this one online, and I thought I like favorited it. So I'm glad I got this as a roll-on, and I'm going to put this on because it is, it's honey and incense. Just imagine that smell. Honey and incense. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I have so many perfumes now. I'm going to smell great. So if you hang out with me and you smell incense, it's me. It's me. I smell like incense. All right, and then, oh, the very last thing is not a beauty or makeup product that I wanted to share with you because it is a scent-related product. And it is a new candle to replace the one I just finished. And this is from Tuscan Candle Company. Is that the same company? It is the same company. Cool. So this is the same company as this one. It's Tuscan Candles. Awesome. I also got this at Kroger. Um, and this is a limited edition forest oak moss with cedar and oak moss oh my god this is bigger this is triple wick it smells green and mossy and piney oh just and it's this gorgeous tricolor three wicks i got this on a killer steal of like um wednesday before thanksgiving because I was doing my Thanksgiving shopping and I just happened to see this. It was a dollar fifty. Like this thing is like I don't I don't know how much this normally costs. It doesn't say. But I would say probably at least eight dollars. And I got it for a dollar fifty. Oh my god. Mm. That reminds me, I have a pine scented candle. One of those little candlelight ones that I bought last year or the year before for Christmas because I don't get a real tree because I don't have room but I like the smell of pine anyway that's it for this month's in and out ins and outs so not much going out but a lot coming in these are my Christmas presents to myself what can I say but if you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my content, 
please hit the subscribe button and the little bell down below so you can be notified when I upload a video. I like the way I said that, upload. And until my next video, which should be hmm, a crafty, artsy crafty video on Monday, I will see you later. Bye. Thank you.